In this video, you'll learn how to create custom commands and custom actions for Google Assistant. A really good example of this is something like uh, adding a task to your task management system. So I use Trello and there isn't a native way to get Google Assistant to add something to my Trello. Uh, so I've created a custom command which I'll walk you through how to create today. These are super easy to create and you can create custom actions and commands for so many different uh, products and services. I'm Jimmy from JimmyRose.me and if you'd like to learn more cool ways to automate your business and get more productive, get more time back in your life, please hit that red subscribe button below. But otherwise, Let's get into it. I'm going to run through that really simple example of adding a task to my Trello. Uh, we're using a product called If This Then That. So that's ifttt.com. Go over there and set up your account first. It's pretty much the same as signing up for any other app. When you are done, it'll drop you into the My Applets page here that I'm sitting on. You won't have anything here. I've just got one I have created earlier. IFTTT is a simple uh, automation platform. So it basically, it's, I mean, it stands for if this, then that. I think that's kind of uh, not true. It should, it's really when this, then that. So when something happens, do this. In this case, it's going to be when we say something to Google, do an action in a different app. You know, that might be create a task in task management. It could be add something to a Google spreadsheet. You can do so many different things and I'll show you through that shortly as well. Now I'm logged into my free IFTTT account here just because I wanted to show you that it is possible on the free account. Uh, there are some limitations to this now. You can only create three different applets. So that means you could create three different commands uh, before you have to pay. It's only about four bucks a month at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty, pretty cool platform if you do plan on doing some automation. So I think it's worth that $4. Uh, but otherwise, just for your first command, let's go in and hit this create button here. The UI here is super simple, as you can see, if this, then that. So we're gonna go ahead and click add on the trigger. So that's the thing that's going to trigger this workflow. And I'm gonna search for Google Assistant and you can see it showing up here. Go ahead and click that. And these are the different triggers that we can create. So you can have a look through these. I'm not gonna dig through them all in detail, but these are just different ways of triggering the workflow. So a simple phrase simply means that there's no input within the command, right? So if I wanted to say something like, turn on all my lights, there isn't really a, an input there. But if I wanted to say, turn on the lights in the living room, or turn on the lights in the bedroom, the room is going to change each time. So that means we would need to use a phrase with a text ingredient. Likewise, I could do something like, uh, Google, please check in with my team and it might send a canned good morning message just to say I've started work for the day. That would only need a simple phrase trigger because there isn't anything specific in that command. But if I wanted to say something specific, like uh, tell the team that I'm going out for lunch, and I want it to take specifically, I am going out for lunch and put that into my Slack channel, then again, I would also use say a phrase with a text ingredient. So in this case, we're going to use this because if I want to add a task to my Trello, I obviously want to say what the name of the task is. So I'm going to go with a text ingredient. It'll prompt you to connect to your Google account. So just go ahead and do that. And as soon as you've authenticated, it will drop you back here. And the first box here is what do you want to say? And this is where you type in exactly what you want to say to your Google Assistant. So you're going to say something like, okay, Google, add, pick up the milk to my Trello. You don't need to type the okay Google part into this. So instead, what I'm gonna do is say, add dollar to my Trello. And you can see here it says add a dollar where you'll say the text ingredient. So this is where it's going to listen for what you're saying and then we can use this in the action. And maybe you've got a few different ways of saying the same thing. Like maybe sometimes I say to my tasks. So what if I say add dollar to my tasks? I still want this workflow to work. And you can create a few different options, uh, but I'm just gonna go with those two. Now you create the reply that Google comes up with. So I'm gonna say, okay, adding dollar to your Trello. So it'll actually repeat what I said, just so I can make sure it said the right thing and it heard me correctly. And then we create the trigger. Then that, so I'm gonna go ahead and find Trello. 
Now I've already authenticated, so it's not asking me to connect. I'm gonna create a card, which is the same as a task in Trello. Now this part is going to be different depending on what action you're creating. So I'm just gonna quickly set this up for me and I'll show you what it looks like. Now the title of the task is where we want to map in uh, that value. So it was dollar in the trigger, the dollar sign, but it's actually not what you use here. You have to click add ingredient and then go text field. So that's what it'll look like. Uh, you know, if you wanted to say this was added by um, Google Assistant, you could write that in there. Uh, as the description, you could put it in the title. It's totally up to you, but this text field is just going to be whatever you said where you put that dollar sign. So you could add more things to the end of the title, to the start, it doesn't matter, totally up to you. But in this case, I literally just want whatever I said to be added as a task. I don't care about assigning uh, myself or any labels. So I'm just gonna delete everything and go create action. And then it brings us back to this page so you can see the summary. So if we say a phrase with a text ingredient, then we're going to create that card in Trello and continue. So I'm just gonna finish and then do a quick demo for you. So you can see we're on here, it's, it's connected. So that should be running. I'm just gonna open my Trello board. So let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, Google, add get the milk to my Trello. Oh, and it's already showed up. So let's jump back over to the screen here and you can see it's put get the milk in there. And that was really quick. So that is like so handy when I'm driving because obviously I don't want to type stuff in uh, when I'm driving around. So if I remember to do something in the car, this comes in handy all the time. Now this is just one example, right? So that's just adding a task. If you want to create any other kind of custom command, Let's jump back over to IFTDT and have a look at some of the other things we can do. So I'm gonna jump back over to home and I'm gonna quickly jump through creating a new applet. So I just created a random trigger for now. What I wanted to show you is this bit here. So when you're adding a new service, these are all the different services you can connect to, right? There are tons and tons and tons of things there. Um, you, you may wanna to go to ifttt.com slash services as a way to have a look at what different apps you can connect to. It's a little bit easier to browse just because there are categories. So, you know, this first section here are appliances. So, you know, if you're looking to business stuff, you're probably not gonna care. We've got blinds, blogging. So you can look, see we've got uh, WordPress and a few things there. Some business tools like Buffer and Airtable. If you wanna add things to Airtable, um, you could do that with a voice command keep going down we've got cloud storage so you could you know create a google document you could put something in a google spreadsheet add a new row you know so just have a look through here there's that slack so you could write a slack message there's so many different things that you could trigger workflows for so i would recommend just typing into the search bar some of some of the apps you're using and seeing what you can uh communicate with so you know for example if we're going to open slack you'll see here that we can post a slack message these are all the different uh, actions we can do with our voice uh, using ifttt so you can see there are a ton of possibilities just a quick note before i finish up uh, for the power users listening if you want to get really advanced and there's an app that you can't find here that you want to connect to I would look into the webhooks utility. What this allows you to do is send a message to another app uh, like Zapier. So Zapier is a, a similar platform to IFTTT that integrates with a lot more different apps, especially if you're in the business world. It's kind of like the business version of IFTTT. Um, so you could use webhooks to send a webhook to Zapier to process that and do something in another app. If you don't know what webhooks are, I will link up to my webhooks video below this. Just have a look in the description. But yeah, that's for power users. I uh, can get a little bit complicated. The rest of it though, really simple. If you just wanna say, you know, Google add something to my tasks or create another simple command like that, you can see it only takes you a couple of minutes to set up and you're good to go. That's it. I hope uh, this has been helpful. If you would like to learn more about automating your business, getting some time back in your life, hit that red subscribe button below. And if you'd like to learn how to use Zapier uh, better in your business, head to jimmyrose.me and check out my course there. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.